I was always obsessed with filmmaking and film. So, going to a school that is primarily known for being a sports school, I had my doubts. And I was not sure if I was going to make it in a school where generally you're accepted more for being an athlete. I wasn't sure if that was the truth, but that was the reputation that they got. So, it was a little nerve wracking. So, am I gonna make it? I'm not really sure. Don Bosco is, is, is a church where we pray. Don Bosco is a school where we learn. Don Bosco is, is a playground where we have fun. And Don Bosco is our home where we need to protect the integrity of everything that we do. So with those four tenets of what Don Bosco built this institution to be, only two of those pillars of what Don Bosco stood for is not going to work. It has to be all four and they have to connect to each other because when they connect to each other we leave nothing or no one out of it. You know they've always accepted me for for who I was and even even if I wasn't the best player on the on the court at all times you know they always had my back and and you know really believed in me even when I didn't always believe in myself. People will obviously bust your chops about being artistic and like a sports school and you have people who are like that, but in the end of the day, they realize that you're a student as much as they are, and you're going to like do what you love as much as they will, and you put as much hard work into it as they do. Well, our school day might only go from 725 to 140 every day, but this school is off and running until 10 o'clock at night with activities. I'm normally here till about 6, maybe 7 o'clock because of practice. Other people are here for academic stuff or clubs. So it's definitely, it's definitely like a place where like you can call home because we're here most of the, we're here more time than we are at home in our awake hours. So it's like, it's definitely, it's definitely a different experience. I was a good student, but I wasn't the best student. And I was a good athlete, I wasn't the greatest athlete. And I certainly was a guy that probably made it uh, with a lot of participation in class and a lot of interaction, a lot of involvement around campus. So that's really kind of what I'm looking to continue to bring here to this school. And I think, you know, you guys doing these projects now are exactly, you know, this wasn't written anywhere in your transcripts, but gosh, are we so lucky to have you because you have these interests and these passions. We're not cookie cutter students here. We're, we're very, very different. We all do something different. And I think every student that comes here challenges us to create a platform for them to succeed here at the school and you know what you guys are interested in today 20 years ago we didn't have that. I feel like going into Bosco was that this is a new place. I I didn't really know anything about here all I knew was it was a school um, that it was way different than what I was used to um, it was it was everything was new about it so coming into this, I was I was feeling just nervous and but ready to figure out what goes on here and what this place is about. Just knowing that for the rest of your life you have people that you can count on, and you you can look back on the years, and and say like you did this with this person. Oh, like we accomplished this. Uh, for example, like in the next like in 20 years, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back and be like, yeah, like I like I won a state championship ring at Don Bosco. I won. I was a part of that state championship team. So it's definitely like memories that will live on forever. We want to be great in sports. We want to be great in the tier one colleges that we go to, but we also want to be great in the arts. It's all a part of making this the best Catholic high school in the state of New Jersey. And that's the goal and that's the vision. We have the tenants to be the very best. We all just need to get better together and be willing to listen to each other and to work as a team. I feel like honestly artists are, are more welcome than athletes because there's a plentiful amount of athletes that are, you know, from the school and, you know, who've moved on. But 
I feel like that there's a lot of, of artists that do leave their mark more than more than the athletes do, and whether it's creating clubs like such as the film club, um, or or you know just like say like they paint like a mural, do something like that. You know what I mean? There's that'll last uh, you know a lifetime as compared to a football player who came, played his four years, you know, and just moved on. So I think that definitely the artists can leave more of a legacy if you know they're that passionate. I joined the photography club by working in the in the photography club joined a lot of competitions you know like it, within the club and you know I met a lot of new people and everyone everyone kinda like you know that's I don't wanna say that's who I'm known for for taking pictures but you know definitely around Bosco I gained a lot of new friends and you know new relationships with people through taking pictures. All right. All right, Chris, it was nice to meet you. If you ever need any pictures for yeah. any of your films, I'm the guy, All right, so thanks, let man. me know. So here at Don Bosco, we have an honor code. It's integrity, respect, optimism, natural, mental focus, empathy, and noble. Okay. All right.